What's up, everybody? It's Jim 12 and bringing you back another episode of Naruto Shippuden, also just known for Beginner to Master Tutorials. If you have never heard of Beginner to Master Tutorial, it's just basically where I choose one character out of the whole roster. I tell you guys everything I know about that character. Now, today, we, you guys have actually been requesting this character for quite a while, actually. This, this, this is a pretty high requested character. It is actually Orochimaru. Now, Personally, for me, I am not a big fan of Orochimaru, but I know some of my friends are, I know some of you guys are like a big fan of Orochimaru, and frankly, I can understand why you would want me to do a tutorial on him, because he, after like practicing with him for a little bit, he is like, he's good, but in a weird way, like, whenever you play him, you actually do feel like how he plays, he's supposed to be flimsy, he's supposed to be, uh... I even don't I don't know what to describe Richmar actually. He's he almost sound like he's pretty much a snake. He's not like Donzo's snake, but he's he's like an actual snake you play. Very flimsy, very strong, very fast. And he's 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 a he's a definitely a weird character, not my favorite. Maybe he's kind of a weird character, but he is a good character too, so you kinda of play him as you will play him in the show. So that's pretty much how he's gonna be playing, and we're gonna get into this right into the video. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more PM tutorials, and make sure to tell me who else you want me to do for the next episode. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's do this. So, all right, so this is Orochimaru, and oh, I wish they added the skin from Boruto. I really wish they added that skin. I mean, he's the one, the one with he like he's have all white on. I don't know. That'd just be really cool. But Orochimaru, yeah, he plays. He plays like a snake. He's very really fast, very slithery, and he kind, sort of, kind of is a basic character. So I'm gonna call him probably about a speed type. He's he's very fast, very um. He's just really, he's kind of good too. He's fast and good. So let me show you. So let's go through his combos first. So here's his neutral combo we're doing. Alright, so the neutral combo, as you can see, goes into a stride back, does a, is a kinda long, and go to the down combo. It's a down combo, and the, actually it's very rare for this, but the down combo is the, as another combo actually can go to a stride back. That's only you need to Rochimaru. Only a very, very, very few characters can do that. Here's his up combo. Now, okay, so his up combo is not actually bad as I say everybody else's is. It's because his up combo is really fast. Like, like his up combo just really just one attack after his little one, two, three, four hit. It's really good. It's really good. But I re highly recommend you use this as a shield break kind of technique. Oh, I can't do it. Well, let me see if I can just do it with my juice. I can cancel it to my juice. Let me see if I can do that. No, I can't cancel my Dushu. I guess not. I guess you can't jump after that. Hmm, I thought you could. I guess they must have changed that. But anyways, let's go on to his uh, regular combo. So, the neutral combo is extremely long compared to all of his combos. It's really long, and I highly don't recommend you really doing this combo that much. Just because the down combo is so much more better. Now, the down combo doesn't do as much damage as the neutral combo, but the down combo is really fast. Like, this is, like, is really fast, and it goes to a stride back, and you can link up after that stride back, so, yeah, the neutral combo is kind of a waste of time, so I hire with just to use the down combo most often, because it does lots of damage, it's really quick, and it has quite a lot of range to it, especially to the last hit, right before the cutscene, so I really recommend you use the down combo. Now, there is something about the neutral combo that is special to Orochimaru, um, whenever... It's, it's so hard to explain this. It's like right when he puts out those snakes, like right there, right just pause. Right where he puts out those snakes, he gets a lot of range to it. He gets a lot of range. So if a person sort of moves out of your combo, he will the, the snake will continue to do the cutscene. It will continue because it has a lot of range and the hitbox kind of grows when the snake comes out. So you can use that to your advantage, the bigger hitbox. But that's pretty much it about the neutral combo. That's literally the only thing I could come up with with this neutral combo. It's, it's not that good. A little more to his grab and his tilt. So his grab is really good, in fact. Now, like, like this grab, um, I'm just gonna show you first. His grab is literally just he he puts out a snake out of his mouth, and this is really, this is one of the reasons why I don't like Orochimaru. He's disgusting. He has a snake in his mouth. This snake. <clears throat> this snake actually has a lot of range to it, 
bunch of range. Look at this range he has control of. Look at this. This is like, this is like really long. Best grabs or longest grabs right here. Along with Pain, Kamehameha, and all them. Longest grabs. So there's really no combo cancel for this grab. So I'm just going to say you just use it how you would at a distance. So we're it right here. Try to grab them as much as possible because this, this grab is really useful. Especially when you got some distance with this. We have distance with the grab. Oh, it's so useful. It's so useful. Because just, just as you think that, um, you're, just as your opponent think that it's not going to reach when it actually does reach, it is actually the best, the best thing in the world because they don't think that. But anyways, let's go on to his tilt. So his tilt is a little weird, and at first glance, people are going to think that it kind of sucks, but well, actually no, it's actually really good. So let me show you what he can do. It's a tilt, and he kind of just goes in the ground again and again and again and again. And if they get hit by it all once, if they're not guarding, let me put the guard off. There we go. So one, two, three, four. And they go down on the ground. They're you know, stunned for a little bit and they go down the ground. If they get hit by all four of them. Or at least the last hit. So this tilt, it doesn't do any damage at all. But this is pretty much what I came up with with, with the Roshimaru. Whenever they are like ready to block your tilts, I would say use this tilt a lot. But use it as a switch in for another character primarily a grab so let me show you so if they're guarding the tilt still goes out which is pretty good it still goes out so it goes out on the last hit you probably want to think about switching into another character and grabbing or starting a combo because like you see this grab i mean this uh, grab this tilt does no damage whatsoever and it doesn't even connect up like if i put naruto on wind damage he could just guard it right after so it's really not that good and at that point it didn't even hit that time what the heck try one more time yeah, so yeah, even our rapid tap the um, attack button, it still doesn't connect all the way up. So there's no point in getting that last hit. So the only thing you can do is um, go into the tilt because at that tilt you're kind of invulnerable when you go underground multiple times. You're invulnerable, so you go underground and at any time you can switch to another character and grab. So that kind of gives you the element of surprise. So what? Uh, what? Uh, okay, I don't want to do a combo. One. Two, switch another character, or I can do the third time. Or I can do the third time, which is one, two, three. Garen, grab, Sugesu, strike it. Wow, that's wow. I kind of forgot that Karen has a strike back. I gotta do a tutorial on her. Karen is good, but anyways, yeah, it kind of gives the element of surprise. That's why I said this tilt is sort of better for switching in to other characters than most tilts because no, most of it doesn't have the element of surprise like a Richmaru does. So this is really, it's really good on his part. So I was just really use this tilt. Use it, really use this tilt because you're invulnerable when you go on the ground. So you don't have to worry too much about your own safety. And if it gets too hairy, you just switch out to your other character. That's pretty much it, yeah. So that's pretty much how you use it. And his Juicy. So there's actually two Juices on Rochimaru. So the one I have on me right now is the Snake Bearer Jutsu. So this Jutsu is literally he turns into a giant snake and he goes prime what, what uh, yeah he goes a good chunk of distance not too much probably like one fourth part of the map it's not that much yeah but I mean let me tell you this thing the snake hits three times if the person is guarding which makes this Jutsu a, it, it makes the ju Jutsu usable it's not supposed to be for damage because it's there's no damage whatsoever, but it's supposed to be for mainly support. This juice is for support, and you can it, it hits the opponent three times, and if they stop guarding at any time, they get hit by the snake. Which is this is a really good juice. So if he, I'm you only can use this for support. That's pretty much how you can use this. So if you gotta use it like this, use it at a distance, go into a combo, and if you get countered, the snake will protect you, pretty much. See, look at that. Look at that. The snake's biting him. I can go into a grab or a tilt or anything. That's pretty much how you gotta use this jutsu because there's really no other way. It doesn't do any damage. It doesn't do um, guard break damage. It doesn't stun. It doesn't do anything. It just holds the opponent down for a little bit, allowing you to give, allowing you to get a lot of damage off on your, um, a lot of guard damage really on your opponents. So that's, yeah, that's pretty much how you use them. Yeah. I use this. It's really not much to go off of, but if you use it the right time, it can be really special. Alright, last but not least, I mean, 
not that funny, but we're gonna go into his ultimate jutsu cancel. So his ultimate jutsu cancel is pretty basic. It's it's really it's really basic. One of the basic one of the most basic um ultimates in this game is just let me see two. Is it the fifth hit? Yeah, I think it's the fifth hit, and you just cancel on the neutral combo. Bite. Yep. Very easy. Very easy. Yeah, it's <laughs> on the fifth hit of the neutral combo, just cancel. And chomp. It's really that simple. It's, it's really it's just too simple. And I couldn't figure out any other way that he can do it. So yeah, this is his only way he can cancel his jutsu. And I'll be right back with the other jutsu that Orochimaru has. So I'll be right back. All right, I am back. All right, so now I come back with the blade dance. Now this is an, a new exclusive jutsu from. Um, Storm 4. It was a new jutsu, and I, because I, I don't, I didn't play Orochimaru back in the previous games, but I could have swore he never used this jutsu. So this is a new exclusive jutsu. So this jutsu, he's pretty much, you pretty much do a combo, as you do right here. You kind of, your opponent is locked into this, and he actually moves towards you, he moves some distance towards. Like I can go from this distance, he goes towards you. And let me tell you, people use this man, well he they. People rarely use Orochimaru nowadays, but back when I was playing ranks when um, Storm 4 just came out, people were using Orochimaru and this dude like crazy. And this was super annoying too because he he goes towards you and every time you try to back dash, he just, just keeps coming and keeps coming. So the good thing with this Jutsu is that you can actually extend your combos with it. If you use it by yourself with the Orochimaru, you use it by yourself, you can actually extend your combos. See like this, I extended my neutral combo and they have damage. So I really don't recommend you using it like this because um, it's wasting too much shock and I don't think you're getting a lot of damage off. So I really don't recommend you doing it like this, but if they're blocking, it does do a lot of guard damage. They're like if they're blocking for like this, oh, I can't do a combo, do a neutral combo. God oh, dang it, there we go. If they're blocking, you can just cancel it. Oh, it's too early, dang it. Try one more time. There we go. Okay, it took me a while, but you can't do that. You can like go into an infinite loop where you just keep canceling your combo and then go into the jutsu, keep canceling your combo, go into the jutsu, and you will eventually break their guard. I have actually done this. And it it does work, but it does take a lot of effort though. Not the most efficient way to be using the jutsu. Yeah, it takes it takes a while. There we go. Play like two tries. You can do this. There, 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 this is a way you can do this. I mean, I just searched the way, but there, that, that is the way. You can the one way to do this. Um, what else? It also, it also also good support actually too. Like if you if that's this is what makes it super annoying. This jutsu on support because when you when you use that support, it locks you into the actual thing. And if you have no subs, it can be devastating. It's like um he he not he Mawari, but Hanabi support where it actually locks you into um. It, it stuns you, it locks you into a combo with, from a support. Look at that, you could actually power up while Orochimaru just damages you. Or you, or my favorite, with with supports like these, just use your ultimate jutsu, they have, they have no subs. That's what I like doing, just use their ultimate jutsu and have no subs. And they're caught in this, one of these little combo supports. So you can use like this, this is a really good support and a really good jutsu for Orochimaru alone. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. So you can use you can use it pretty much the same way I showed you how to use the snake bearing the snake bearing jutsu because it's pretty much the same thing except Orochimaru goes into a combo. So technically, the jutsu is a little bit better because it attacks multiple times, it lasts for a while, and if they break, if it breaks their guard, he combos them. So it's pretty good actually. It's really good. I don't kind of think why would you use a snake bearing jutsu when you could just use this. Hmm? Wow, that actually reached. I was not expecting that to reach. And of course, because I have the whole um, team, I'm gonna use the team ultimate juice so I can just see what it is. Now, I think I actually do remember this in um, Revolution. Mm, 
gotta say, they could have done something really better. Like, that was really bland. Yeah, yeah, I think they did have that revolution. They could have done, done something so much more better. But let's go into Orochimaru's Awakening, where he has snakes in his pants. It's freaking disgusting. I hate Orochimaru. But, anyways, <laughs> nothing really changes about Orochimaru. He has the same combo, same neutral combo, same down combo, same up combo. He's pretty much just Orochimaru, same tilt, same grout. The only thing that changes is his jutsu. Why am I still doing neutral combo? Transition to jutsu. The only thing that changes is his jutsu. His jutsu. Oh, uh, it only works the snake bearing jutsu. I gotta equip that back on. Wow. Does anything change about the blade dance? Yeah, no. Okay, so if you equip the blade dance and you awaken with Morchimaru, he's pretty much just a power up of Morchimaru. No difference. Is there something different? Yeah, no. Nothing's different. Wow, that's actually kind of disappointing. Considering how powerful Orochimaru is, they don't give him a good awakening. Ugh, that's kind of bad. So yeah, he's just a, he's just Orochimaru. So hold on, I'll be right back with the other jutsu so I can show you. Actually, I can show you Orochimaru's alternate jutsu. So I'll be right back. Well, I am back, and I never thought I get to show off all three of Orochimaru's costumes. But let's go back again. All right, so his special jutsu in his awakening is the White Snake Charmer Jutsu. Where he has uh, like a million snakes combined into one, to one white snake. And just, they could have done something so much more better for Orochimaru. But this jutsu is literally, he turns, is a giant, more better snake brain jutsu. It poisons them and does more damage. Pretty much, but you can't combo it. No matter how you try, you can't combo this. So you gotta use that support. Or like a random jutsu. So it does lock onto your opponent and... Does it go across the map? Let's see. It... Kinda does. Yeah, it pre I'm just gonna round it up. Yeah, it pretty much just goes across the map. So yeah, so you can use this all the way back here and it will reach their point. Let me let me push yeah, push Naruto back all the way over here. We're gonna test this out. There we go, get back. Now I know that the um the great battlefield is the largest map in the game. Can't it reach Naruto? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna just say that this is pretty much the whole map. I'm gonna just say it right here. <laughs> this is pretty much the whole map, at least this map. So this map, so this juicy can go all across the map. It does good, it does amazing guard damage actually. Let me see. Yeah, it broke Naruto's guard within one jutsu. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, it, it immediately breaks jutsu. So, Orochimaru doesn't have anything going for him. I'm gonna be honest. He doesn't have anything going for him. So the best thing to do with Orochimaru is since this is a free tracking guard break right here, when you do break the guard, just switch to another character. That's the best thing you can do with uh best thing to do with Orochimaru because he does have a really good juice that immediately breaks guard. And if you don't sub it, you're gonna get a whole bunch of damage, you're gonna get poisoned, or you can get your guard broken. And in that case, you can just combo into another person. Still, that's crazy though. That just immediately breaks guard. That's really good. That's really good. <laughs> that kick though. <laughs> but anyways, that's it for Orochimaru. Like he's he's not what I thought he'd be. You know, they could have done something much better with Orochimaru, but I guess they didn't put anything for Storm 4 with the for Orochimaru. I guess people didn't really like him that much. I guess. I don't know. But anyway, that's Orochimaru, so make sure to tell me who else you want me to do for the next episode. My name is Uzi12, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.